Hi everybody, welcome to Relica YouTube channel. Here we talk about immigration, about how to relocate your business, your family to a different country, to a country of European Union, uh, to a country in uh, North America, United States, Canada, and so on. In today's video, I want to talk uh, about our client. I want to share our amazing experience of uh, getting approvals for two visas. For two, I would say, critically important visas for global talent in the United Kingdom, which allows you to live in the UK for up to five years and apply for permanent residence and, uh, in three years and to apply for citizenship in four years, which is probably the fastest track uh, possible in Europe about employment-based first preference visa in the USA which is a green card for 10 years and allows you to apply for citizenship in five years so this client of, our, of ours is now citizen of the world he doesn't have any limitations about uh, transporting his family about relocating to any different country so now he has all cards up his sleeve and he can do whatever so let's get into it our client uh, came to us approximately in uh, april february uh, 2023 we discussed that he is a um, perfect candidate for uh, uk global talent visa he is a CTO, Chief Technology Officer, Technical Director at a very big company. Previously, he worked in one of the uh, biggest companies of uh, Eastern Europe, biggest IT companies, tech companies, fintech companies, uh, biggest uh, digital ecosystem of uh, Eastern Europe. And he was a CTO there. Then he changed companies, uh, started working for um, local company but also as a CTO and he had a lot of experience as head of development, head of software development. In his application had many patents, he had five patents, four patents that are already approved and pre-existing and one patent which is pending one. So he's not uh, yet has it, he does not yet has it, have it, but he has an application pending for approval of this uh, patent. So he had a perfect background for both of the visas for uh, global talent uk visa and for eb1 visa as well but aside from it it was vital for us to build a necessary track to build a perfect strategy for him to apply because when um, not a lot of people understand that but when you have a lot of evidence in your background for a visa for an immigration visa it's important to choose the strongest one to choose the most appropriate ones because you have a lot of evidence and you're not, you're not sure what to include, what to exclude, what to leave out, maybe what to um, not include in your application because of not its strength or um, appropriate or not appropriate, but because you need to um, maybe somehow uh, not talk about this specific piece of evidence in your application. So I have all deadlines here located, so I'm going to be looking at the screen. So we compiled the application within three weeks after he came to us. It was a perfect strategy. We all, our specialists did everything possible for him to have a perfect application. So we applied on 26 of May 2023 and he got his approval exactly one month after we applied so he got approval on uh, June 26 so after it straight away in July on July 7 we already applied to VFS Global which is a visa center visa application center when you have approval you need to apply for a visa specifically this card this uh, entry clearance to the UK, after which you can enter the United Kingdom and collect your BRP. So now he's already in uh, London, in the UK. He has his BRP, uh, biometric residence permit, which is a card confirming that you're a resident of the United Kingdom. And with this card, you can rent a flat, you can uh, freely move an outside of the United Kingdom. 
and your um, relatives can basically accompany you. After it, he expressed his desire to apply for EB1 visa, which is a visa um, intended for specialists in, his, in uh, like any field. Basically, you can apply as long as you fit within the criteria. There is 10 criteria. You need to meet at least three criteria to be eligible for this visa. So he met four criteria. Uh, nonetheless, that he had a perfect background. In this case, specifically, he met only four criteria at the very beginning. So we had to compile our application um, based on publications, contribution, which included his patents and all the innovation that he had. After it, critical role. So he is a CTO, which is a C-level position and a big salary. He earns Mm, big salary for his region where he lives so we chose to go with this criteria so at the very beginning it was only four criteria so we applied and we our application was accepted on september 13 2023 so we approximately we were preparing the case for two months for one and a half month we uh, compiled the case and for uh, the rest of the time we filed um, the application, uh, we waited for our case to be accepted, and then after it, uh, we chose premium processing, which uh, basically implies that your application will be reviewed within 15 days. After it, we got the request for evidence, which was very interesting, very particular, because in this request for evidence, the USCIS, the Immigration uh, Service of the United States, they did not approve any of the criteria, not even one criteria. They told us that they needed additional evidence for each of the criteria. So within approximately two, two and a half months, we compiled the response to a request for evidence. We published new articles about his work on open source and we collected more documents about his salary, about his role at the company that he works right now. Uh, we wrote new letters, we corrected the letters that we had, and we tried to assess his patents because the USCIS, they told us they needed additional evidence and additional uh, third parties evidence about the patents, how exactly uh, they influence the sphere, the field of his endeavor. And we did it. Uh, we found service which did uh, an assessment, like evaluation or patents, and we enclosed uh, the result report to our application and it worked. Also, when we compiled the request for evidence, we discovered that we could cover one more criteria because he had, within this time, while, while our application was being reviewed, so uh, we had five criteria in general. After it, we waited for a little bit of time and January 3, we received welcome letters. So uh, on December 27, we got our approval. So the petition was approved and within like a couple of days, we received a welcome letter. So this letter basically allows you to proceed to the uh, consular processing where you apply for a visa and after it, you have the uh, permission to enter the United Kingdom. As of now, as of January 2024, we are uh, filing the DS-260 right now. After it, we will be sending the documents to the uh, NVC, National Visa Center, and we'll wait for our appointment, for our interview date, and he will be, I think, successful in this interview, and he will, he will get his green card within no time. So yeah, such an interesting case, amazing track, amazing work of our specialist. We did amazing job and we got him two visas without any refusals. No refusals have been uh, noticed here. So he got his uh, positive decisions on both visas within uh, the first try. So this is uh, amazing. I'm proud of our work. So if you want to have such an opportunity as he did, uh, to have uh, permission to enter any country, uh, UK, USA, European Union, and, uh, countries of Eastern Europe, uh, just sign up for a free consultation. We'll talk with you about your application and hopefully uh, you will get approval 
uh, on multiple visas this is heated so thank you for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comment section we'll get back to you thank you again and see you next time